What's up everybody, it's Dr. GTA coming to you with another video and today we're going to be going through a video that's going to be used for the next 7 years, hopefully you guys are watching this by 2025 or whatever, hopefully the game's still running, but yeah, hit like because we're about to show you how to install time cycle mods, water uh, mods, weather effects and everything using OpenIV which was just released the 8th of May and it is in edit mode now so we can actually use it to edit our RPFs and everything like that in order to play the game and mod the game. I'm not sure if this works online, but this is for single player. Note, I do not support online modding. I do do gameplays trolling online, but that's the only thing I do. So yeah, we're going to get into this tutorial now. And basically, I've downloaded this graphic mod here, which we're going to install. It's Damned Ice Enhancer Graphics. It basically consists of a visual settings, a water XML, a time cycle folder with different various effects for the times, different um, weathers and such like that. And we're going to show you how to install that. All right, so first off, you're gonna get everything you need out of the time out of the the folder. Obviously, you need WinRare, so download WinRAR. You can see it on my screen here. Download that. You can it's free, uh, open source. You can download it and install it. And then you run it and select the file and open it. Anything with a .rar will work. Then you're going to extract them to your desktop. I would just name it like Graphic Mod or something. It doesn't really matter. Just to get in the folder out of that folder. Once you get that out of that folder. Um, you're going to go back to your uh, Grand Theft Auto 5 directory, wherever that's at, and you want to go down to your update folder in there, and you want to go to your RPF. You want to right-click and copy your RPF, and then you want to paste it somewhere on your desktop, somewhere where you have backups. Um, mine, I'm just going to cut mine, actually, and you know where I'm going to put it? I'm going to put it where I have all my backups, which is on my other disk, which is in my GTA 5 Engine PC backup folder, and I'm just going to put it right in here. And there we go, update RPF so I have a backup of it. Because we are editing this file, that's why we're backing it up. And after that, we're going to go back to where we actually had our original um, game save in here. And basically, in order to get script mods working, you're going to need native trainer, DN put 8, and script hook V. And I'm not sure how this is going to work whenever you watch this video, you know, a couple years from now, from 2015. But that's what I use right now. Um, other than that, we can close that window out and we can delete the RAR, we don't really need it anymore. And then we're going to go download this program called OpenIV, link is in the description for that. Once you install it, you're going to go have this window open up for option, you're going to go to Grand Theft Auto 5 Windows, it's going to load up and it might do an update as well. So um, after it does that, it's going to open a window like this. If it doesn't open this window, it's going to tell you you need to select your Grand Theft Auto 5 PC directory, so you're going to have to go navigate to that. If you have a cracked version, it's probably not supported. Um, after that, you're going to basically... Um, you're going to go navigate to the OpenIV directory. It's going to open up like this. It's going to take you directly to your GTA 5 folder. Once you get into your GTA 5 folder, you're going to go to your update uh, folder. And you're going to go to that RPF, which we just went. You want to hit edit mode at the top here. You want to click yes, because it's going to change shit. You're going to go to RPF, and it's going to look, it's going to say install plugin for GTA 5. You need the ASI loader and OpenIV ASI plugin, or the game will not work. So you're going to hit this red install. This is included with OpenIV, so it's going to install it. And if you go back, you can go to GTA 5 folder. And if you look at the top, there should be some type of um, some type of modification done to the folder um, where it's going to actually show you your um, you know, different things that are installed to the game. So it installed those, and in, I don't know where they went, but we'll figure that out later. And now, with, uh, after you're done with that, you're going to go navigate to your common folder in your data folder, and you're going to see a whole bunch of different things in here. One's going to be your time cycle folder. And then um, you're going to have other things like your uh, visual settings and water and such like that. So what we're going to go do now is we're going to install this mod. Now to install this mod, you're going to go back to obviously your folder here. And you're going to go to your graphics mod. You've got a couple files. You've got a time cycle folder, a visual settings, and a water tune. Um, you're going to take the uh, visual settings and the time cycle and just take those, drag those into the folder as long as you're in the root folder of the common data of the update RPF and it's going to go right in there. Now I've noticed that there are two different names for the folders see it both put them in there. The visual settings was overwritten you can see that but the one that wasn't was the time cycle so we're going to go ahead and delete that out and we're going to actually go back into this time cycle folder here and we're going to go into this one because they're different names and just take all this and throw it in here and it's probably going to overwrite a lot of stuff. And as you can tell, it overwrite a lot of stuff. And we're done with that. Now we're going to go back to the common data folder. 
And then we're also going to install the WaterTune XML to the common data root. So update RPF common data in this root directory. Now there's not an update for that. It's not going to override anything. Um, you're just going to put it in there as well. Make sure when you drag stuff in here, you don't drag it over a folder because it will put it in that folder. And I would just check to make sure everything's in there as well. And I'm going to show you another way to install stuff too. You can hit this plus button right here. And you can go to your desktop and you can go to graphic mod and you can drag these two in and hit open. And it's going to throw them in there as well. And that's how you can overwrite. Or you can right click and um, right click and you can... Uh, add a folder or add a file and you can do it the same way like that and then also you can go in your time cycle right click or you can hit the plus sign whichever one you want and just get control a all those files and open them up and that's pretty much all you have to do now when you're done i'm not sure how this affects most people when i was editing gta 4 i never would rebuild but all you have to do is hit file and rebuild it it's going to say are you sure you want to rebuild it and you just hit rebuild once it's done rebuilding, the file has been successfully modified. Now all you have to do is go load up your GTA 5 game. Obviously you want to um, go through Steam or whatever when you do this, but I'd recommend not have Steam open while you are editing the OpenIV stuff because it could file check it and say that the, the files are modified and you need to reload them or something, but otherwise it might not do that. It just depends. So like at that point, it might take a little longer depending on your system to do this little um, loading bar right here. So give it time and uh, make sure it succeeds. And once it succeeds, just be able to go in game and play. I'm not sure if it works on multiplayer. You can try it. It probably does. But please note, these settings are only going to be seen on your side because it's a client side game. No one else is going to see these settings. Like if you install car mods, which will come later with another update, um, you're, not gonna, you're only going to see the cars you install. No one's going to see your cars online. As for single player, that doesn't matter because there's no one on there. But yeah, um, I usually rebuild the archive just to, to make it more stable because what it does, it rebuilds the archive when you go in game anyway. But you know, this is taking an awfully long time. But I guess this is just something you have to do considering this is a very new game, a new uh, update build. And this is the first rebuild tool for GTA 5 to come out in not even, you know, three, four weeks since the actual initial release of the game, which is pretty cool. And then. After you're done with this, you should be able to go in game and run it. One other thing I want to note is if you go to your documents and you go to your um, Rockstar Games GTA 5 folder, there's going to be stuff in here, uh, the profiles. I would recommend maybe deleting this profile if you have problems crashing while you're loading into the game. Now, if you get into the game uh, and crash, that, that's something with your files. That's not something with your, with your game saves. But if you're loading the game and you don't get past the loading screens, you're definitely having a problem with this file right here, which is anything in here that could be the problem. I would recommend, you don't have to delete the settings, but anything else in here, um, I would recommend deleting or just delete the whole entire folder or just back it up and delete it because um, you could crash potentially using save files from other games, especially with car mods in GTA 4, I've noticed that. Now we are all complete. It says all complete here. Would you like to open it? Click no. It's going to open it for you anyway. At this point, it's just going to stay on this screen and you can exit out and that's pretty much it you've successfully done your install um again i'm gonna go um yeah that's pretty much it thanks for watching guys